Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to help you resolve if your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer will not detect your Bluetooth headphones. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys, on how to resolve the issue. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, and you want to type in airplane mode. That's match, so come back with airplane mode. Go ahead and open that up. Make sure that is turned off. If airplane mode is turned on, make sure it's turned off. And underneath wireless devices, make sure Bluetooth is toggled to the on position. So both of these settings are important. Make sure they're both configured correctly here. And once that's done, close out of here. And if that was not the solution to your problem, go ahead and open up the search menu and type in device manager. Best match, should come back with device manager. Go ahead and open that up. Double click on the Bluetooth selection in here, and then right click on your Bluetooth device and select update driver. Select browse my computer for drivers, and then select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. So go ahead and select the Bluetooth driver listed in here. If there's multiple ones, I'd recommend selecting the non-generic one if possible. If you have one so specific for your Bluetooth make and model, I'd recommend installing that one. Even better, if you can go on to their website and download whoever whoever makes your Bluetooth, if you go on to their website and look up drivers and uh, support packages, I'd recommend getting it directly through them. But this is an alternative method possibly to resolving your issue. So that's why we're exploring it for today's tutorial. And it's a pretty general tutorial. There's a lot of different Bluetooth manufacturers out there, a lot of different names. So we're just kind of going with general tips for this tutorial. So again, that's something else to take a look at for this part of the video. And something else we want to look at, if we open up the search menu and type in services, go ahead and open that up. And you want to go down to the Bluetooth support service and double click on it. Set startup type to automatic. And if service status is stopped, you want to go ahead and select the start option and then select apply and okay. And then once that's done, go ahead and close out of here. And you want to restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this point or issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.